Hi, it's me again, and I am sharing another 50 unfledgling with you. Uh, today I want to talk about saying no and accepting a compliment. Um, first, let's look at no. Um, it's a very small word, but it's gotten a very negative rap. And so many of us find it very difficult to say no. We feel uncomfortable because we feel like we'll disappoint somebody. Uh, we are hurt their feelings. Um, we will not be there for them at a time when they need us. And so we hesitate to say the word no, or we accompany no with an explanation. Um, we can't have this little word stand on its own two feet. Um, we uh, find that uh, we perceive that the other person might see us as being negative or being um, objectionable or not being helpful. And I would like us to, to think about that. Um, I think it's one of the things that you grow into being comfortable saying, saying no and asserting no. Um, and maybe if we look at it in a different light, um, it will help. Because every time you assert no, um, you assert yourself, uh, you defend your limitations, you defend your boundaries, you actually stand up for what you know you can deliver or what you're able to give at that point in time. And really you can only give from the well or the fountain that you have. And if you know within yourself that at this point in time, that is not something I have to give or that I'm able to give or I would like to give at this time. Asserting no is sufficient and it is not negative. It is standing up for yourself and for what your boundaries are, your abilities are. Um, and so maybe if we look at no in a different light and not necessarily the negative rap that that small but very powerful word has earned um, in the scheme of things, then we'll be able to assert no and know that we are asserting for ourselves. And in the end, um, asserting for ourselves and being truthful to that benefits the other person or the other situation because you are bringing what is true to that situation or to that person. The other thing I wanted to talk about was accepting a compliment. Um, often we don't like having the spotlight on ourselves. Um, we don't issue compliments to ourselves because self-praise is no praise at all. And even when a compliment is given, um, the spotlight might introduce a little bit of um, discomfort. Um, and so we either say thank you and then offer an explanation or um, we, we wonder, hmm, where is that coming from? Or, hmm, what's the motivation for that? Or are they buttering me up for something down the road? And so um, I want to talk about accepting compliments, just being able to accept the spotlight positively on yourself and being able to say thank you graciously. Um, along the way, you may have done these personality tests and so um, you, you hear the negative about your personality type and the positive about your personality type. And so I just want to, to say to um, today for 50 and fledgling, open your arms, um, accept compliments with a gracious thank you. No need for an explanation, no need to try and figure out where it's coming from or if something else is coming behind it. Just accept the positive statement and say thank you where it's coming from if it's truly meant any of that that's not within your realm uh, that's the for the other person um, for you it's to have an open heart and to say thank you and I wanted to talk about that because there have been times where I um, hear a compliment and because I've had careers and jobs that had had me in the public eye, you kind of shy away from it or you wonder, hmm, what's behind that? Um, and so um, let's not judge the motivations and let's not be um, uncomfortable with our own power, with our own uh, 
goodness with our own abilities um, accept when somebody recognizes it and say thank you so thank you for listening to my 50 and fledgling enjoy the rest of your week uh, it's Wednesday it's mid Tuesday I'm going a little fast um, enjoy the rest of your week enjoy your Tuesday 50 and fledgling <laughs>